Hello and welcome to another video on Learn SQL. And in today's video, we are going to learn CTE. CTE stands for Common Table Expression. And with the help of with clause, it allows you to write down a statement, and that statement can be used in subsequent select statement. Now, what happens? It allows you to create a more manageable code where you can move one of the complex part separately and gives gives the result set, and that result set again you can use into your main query. So let's go ahead and try out and see, you know, what CT can do for us and how can it simplifies. So let's begin with a very simple example. I have already started my SQL Server and also opened SQL Server Management Studio and logged in into that one. And after that, my databases are visible right now, and I'm going to run the query on the Learn SQL database. So, how do I define SET? So, if you remember, uh, like you know, I opened these query previously. We use these kind of queries, uh, the sub queries. Now, I want to let's say do similar kind of stuff. Let's say I. So, how do we do is typically how do we do select star from sales where let's say item. underscore id is greater than 10 then if i need i can actually join it with the item okay so can i move this code separately as a result set so what i can do in that case is that say this code i want to separately move and then i want to join it with item so i can say with s as with s as the alias so alias is i'm giving s as this one and then I can start writing down select from S inner join and let's say star here inner join item where I dot item ID what is I here I there's no I so we have to give you alias I for item inner join and we don't need where we actually have to use on on item id equal to s dot item id so what we have done is we have moved over this this query here and we are saying you know select star from s inner join item id i and inner join item on i on item id s item id let's see what happens so we will get some 25,000 rows because others will not come because of the items which are not available. Now here because it's an inner join you will also not see the blanks because of uh, certain additional things available. Now anyway our I, if I do a left, jo left join it's not going to give me any any additional rows because uh, we have already removed the anything less than 10 so that's not in the US. But if I say a right join here. Now in the right we have certain items which are actually missing now so i can do scroll down and you will see those items are there because those additional items are there so now let for your reference let me have the two queries one with the inner join now if you remember we have done one more thing we made this item table also deficient now can i do make this item table also deficient but can i do with the with clause can i have two of them with with clause so let's do one thing let's write down once more and if you remember what was the second one so we say comma enter let's say i as select star from item where item underscore id is less than fifth less than equal to 50 so anything below 50 we want to consider so this is what we said now i don't need item i and now what is happened item is also short this one is also short so both the tables have little bit less so let's first do inner join fine so what we are saying with s s select star from sales which is item id greater than 10 so only greater than 10 and here item ids are which is coming which is less than 50 so both are now selected as ct common table expression and now we try to join them as a in with the inner join and let's try to see what happens now we are only getting 24,000 rows fine now what happens when I do left join means I say okay something which is in left not in right means items which is even having the ID greater than 50 see should be given 
should be given here. So 25,000 rows will go, go to come. And what happens if I make it right? So now again 24,000 plus those missing items, 8, 10 items. Isn't it? Those at 8, 10 missing items. So I make it right join and then I run it. What would happen? So everything with the, you know, so complete data from the uh, right hand side is going to come uh, along with the matching data from the left hand side. So right hand side, you, those missing IDs which are not available are also going to come. Now then comes the, you know, your full join where basically we will get 50. Now, what do we get? 25,000 plus additional rows. So these 25,000 because of the null values and 10 rows. Now those rows which actually got removed in terms of data, they are not going to come from the sales table. Okay, because actually there is no data there to, you know, bring in those rest of the 4,000 odd rows. But with the unmatched data is still going to come. Something which is having the reference present either on this side or on that side is going to come out. Something which is, and, and transactional table, if you remove the data, uh, the left or right is not going to add anything. Now, dimension side, we have the additional members, so that's going to come out. Now, dimension side's reference is missing on the fact table, that also going to come out. So now we have seen some example, now we know how it works. Now let's take one more example where we do something more which is could be you know uh, like say I want to brand wise I want to bring in data for let's say two years. Now if you see we have dates and we have data for 2018 and 2019 and 2020. So can I bring in for two years of data for let's say 2018 and 2019 can I bring in some data and compare that. So let's do one thing. So we write down select star from sales where you know year of sales underscore date equal to let's say 2018 something like this isn't it. So we can do this. We have this. Now we can further simplify it by saying item id comma quantity star price which we can rename as gross fine brand quantity to price is gross so we got all the data item id now i can join this with the brand table and group by and can get the brand data isn't it same way what i can do is here i can also get the data of 2019 So I got data of 2018, 2019, 13,000 rows here, 14,000 rows here, something I got. Now, what I want here is I let me combine and let I also want to join them with brand. Okay, fine. So now let's do this thing. Fine. Now. So what we are going to do here is basically we have the two sub queries. So let's make it with Q underscore 2018 as and let's bring in this 2018 comma. Q underscore 2019 as so I got 2018 2019 select from item now because I don't want to miss the data from any of the year where even when it's present so what I need to do is I item I left join I am going to give the preference to the item table left join I dot item id and here i need to give something now so let right now let me give this star so that you know it doesn't show you the error and then later on we can come and do some more stuff so left join item from item i left join what left join q2018 on i dot item id and 
q dot q twenty eighteen dot item underscore id so left join q twenty eighteen from item id left join q twenty eighteen underscore eighteen i dot item id equal to q twenty eighteen item id so that's the one thing now again we need to do this thing with twenty nineteen so left join twenty nineteen i dot item id equals to 2019 and when you do copy paste be careful otherwise write it down again you might actually change the table name and in the join you doesn't change is going to give something else okay so join will still happen on 2018 that is not going to give you the right results now i got it but what i want is from i dot i want brand only fine and then both these have the same name gross this is also gross this is also gross so we say sum Q twenty eighteen dot gross and go to call as gross gross twenty eighteen and now it's same way let's bring in gross twenty nineteen again I'm going to do little bit of copy paste stuff here and whenever you do you need to be careful here twenty nineteen and we all call call it twenty nineteen let me give a space here now when I'm I'm doing aggregation I need to have some group by if I am using a something which is not aggregating, so here you know I, brand ID is not aggregating, so I need to group on the brand ID. So when I am saying group by brand ID, I dot brand ID. So now I got my two queries, and let me run this. And now you got the results. You can see for all the item brand, I am able to get the data. So when this data comes in to me, seems like you know this number is little bit bigger. And the, how do I test it and what could be the reason for this number is bigger so what we can do is quickly copy this one and copy this one and you know remove the other part let's say 2019 we remove it and let's copy only one value let's say remember that this brand one value and I'll tell you in SQL uh, server management studio it's possible to run two queries at the same time so let's run these two together now now brand one 2018 is 12,000 something and brand one this is number is not correct why this is happening now, I'll tell you the reason why it is happening why then single number is seems to be correct what's happening this data is not grouped at item ID level so there are multiple item ID so when it joins with the dimension there's no problem but because the other table is again coming and joining so the data is getting expanded twice so in that case it is not going to work out so what I need to do here is to correct this data i need to what i need to do is here i need to put this sum at the item level so now what what would be my query and let's copy this and correct these queries below so here i need select item id and sum of quantity comma quantity star price as the core gross and we have to write group by And again here now that will ensure that I am only getting one item ID okay and let me try this out again here uh, select item ID comma sum of quantity into price as gross and by item ID so now what happens both the data is grouped at the same level and when I join it it's going to give me single single rows so let's check this one along with this one so our data of 2018 whatever data let's sort and let's say order by one here as well as order by one and you might have seen this this time the results have came pretty faster the moment your results is taking little bit of time where you don't expect it to take time just look at your query and you should always have some way to uh, you know uh, you know check your results so 12,9998 and 35 49 is starting point 39 this so the number seems correct to me now so whenever we are using these kind of stuff we need to be a little bit careful you know when we are performing the final joints that the data what we are trying to achieve it's not expanding so so now whenever you are using this common table expression just make sure that you know 
granularity of the data while joining because you have created your own temporary result sets and those result sets you are joining so the granularity of the data or those result set is the same thing what you expecting or it has become something different okay another way could have been like you know we do um, outer join the, between these two data and then we join them with the uh, basically the item table so maybe let's try that out, out so let's bring in this query again without group by so this is without group by so can we do a full outer join between the two data now but that could again be resulting in cartesian because item id and item id here there are tons of item id here the tons of item id repeating here and if you join these two tables what would happen again there is a cartesian which could happen so that's not the way so that's not going to uh, work out so for us we have to group this data and bring in so now you understood that you know whenever you are doing such kind of stuff and you are bringing in certain results that you need to be uh, careful about the cardinality of the results set which is coming in or how you are going to join back so go ahead and try that out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular sql series thanks for watching this video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comments subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you